and some of them. Anyway, guys, it hit Charlottetown last night. About 800 fans came out to the Civic Center to see some of their old Grand Prix wrestling favorites back in action. But despite some big names like The Beast and the Cuban Assassin, many fans came out to cheer on one of their own. Tanya Miller has more. Weighing 230 pounds, no class. He may be 55 years old now, but Bobby Bass can still work up a crowd. Then there's everyone's hero, the wrestler who doesn't take any guff off the bad guys, the legendary Beast. And what would a Grand Prix show be without perhaps the most famous arch enemy of all? This chicken farmer from Alberta now guards his age. But even after more than 25 years in the business, some things never change. Remember the foreign object? How about the assassin's ability to throw insults? This island don't support to have a, a professional wrestler. They're supposed to be a potato picker and plant potatoes. Well, that's enough to get any islanders back up. Tonight, we know just the right person to set the record straight. Meet Iron Mike Hughes, a 24-year-old Stratford native just out of wrestling school who's been selected to fight in the Grand Prix circuit. Hughes may be a newcomer, but he's the man fans have come to cheer on. He's an Islander, and he's a good wrestler. Hughes is the first Islander to make it to the wrestling arena. This is his first match in front of a hometown crowd. He may be thrilled, but Mom finds it a bit nerve-wracking. Hughes wins the match by default. The assassin, it seems, upset the referee. This is only Hughes' second week on the tour, and he's thrilled to be wrestling with the names he grew up with. I remember going to uh, the Sportsplex and the North River Rank and stuff like that and watching the Cuban Assassin and the Beast and guys like that. And uh, what surprised me is at the time, I thought they were much older than they actually were. They were pretty young at the time. And uh, to get in the, the ring now and to be in the dressing room with some of these guys, it's a great feeling. What do the older, seasoned wrestlers think of Hughes' chances in the business? He will have a future, but in a wrestler's very easy life, it's very, very hard to travel in, of course, being away from your family, mm -hmm. uh, the training every day, uh, and if he wants it bad enough, he will grab that brass ring and hang on to it for everything he got. Pro wrestling has been criticized lately for going too far with dangerous stunts just to boost TV ratings. But Hugh says he has no plans to go down that road. I want to go somewhere where they accept me and uh, want me for my talent and my abilities and not try to push me into something because, as you've seen with the Owen Hart, uh, that pushes you into stuff that doesn't always get over and sometimes a tragedy will occur like that. I don't want to have to go from Sealand and stuff like that. I want to go to a federation where I can go in and actually wrestle and not go on with all the other stuff that goes on. The Grand Prix Wrestling Circuit is considering coming back to PEI in three weeks' time. Tanya Miller, BBC Sports, Charlottetown. Way to go, Mike. Well, in tennis top rank...